everyone, so today I am going to show you how to create an awesome fishtail bun for your prom. It's really, really pretty, it's like slightly intricate as well, and it also makes your hair look really thick, so bonus! Now the first thing I did after washing my hair was spray in some of the Tony and Guy Glamour 3D Volumizer Spray and I just spritzed this into my damp hair before blow drying it and not only does this help to add some body and volume to your hair, it also helps to add grip which is great for when you're doing updos because it helps you grip your hair. I also use some of the Tony and Guy Heat Protection Mist, this is pretty self explanatory just because you must protect your hair from the heat. Now I'm just going to use a curling wand just to add some curls all throughout my hair. I know that we're going to be doing an updo but what this does is help it to have even more volume and also just have some soft pretty like waves as it goes into the fishtail and just if you have any loose bits around your face as well then they're lovely and tonged so I'm not going to be too worried about tonging my hair perfectly as I'm putting it up anyway but I'm just going to add a good amount of curls throughout. I also just find that my hair is smoother and easy to handle if I curl it before doing an updo. I'm just going to go all the way over my head then I'll be back with you. Okay so now I have curled my hair just roughly not perfectly or anything we now have to do a fishtail braid so I'm going to take all of my hair so I'm just taking all of my hair around to one side and you want to split this piece of hair into two and what we're going to do is do a loose fishtail that's not too perfect because we're going to be rolling it up into a bun so you just want to do a really kind of basic fishtail braid so you pull it into two pieces then you take a section from the outside of this piece like so and add it to this other section. Hopefully this isn't too fiddly for you guys to understand. Then take a piece from the outside of this section and add it to your other section. I should have named my sections really, shouldn't I? And then just carry on doing that, so in a section from the outside of this one, adding it to the other one. And just keep carrying on until you have a fishtail braid. So it should be starting to look like a fishtail braid now. It does take a while guys, so don't give up. Just keep on adding those outside pieces to the other piece. I'm just coming in a little bit closer for you guys so that you can see what the fishtail should look like and exactly what I'm doing. So a bit from this section. So always taking a piece from the outside. I've actually done mine quite tight and neat by accident, but don't worry if yours is a lot looser because I need to make mine looser anyway at the end. Okay, so when you kind of get to the end and you can't really do any more bits and it just gets too fiddly, then you can just get a hairband. Or when you just get fed up with plaiting for any longer, you just get a hairband and then secure it and I'm just using a clear elastic because they're just the nicest to use when you're styling because you can't see them. Now because we're going to be folding this up we need a little bit of looseness to our braid so you need to kind of just pull it out a little bit. So just using your fingers, don't be scared and just pull out the braid and make it looser like that. Now that you've loosened your braid a bit all you need to do is just roll it up so I'm just going to start by tucking in that end piece of hair and then just slowly rolling it up and then we want to secure it with some grips. I'm just having to pull out a piece of hair because I can feel it's about to fall out and I think a nice little curl but there will look pretty and that's why it's good that we curled our hair to begin with because you can pull out bits and they're already curled. Um, so I've just folded that up and I'm now just going to take some curvy grips or whatever you like to call them, and just secure that in. Once you've gripped that in, you just want to finish with some hairspray to make sure that nothing falls out of place. So I'm going to use my Tony and Guy Glamour, what's this called, Firm Hold Hairspray. And there we have it. This is my finished prom style hair look. I really hope you guys liked it. 
give the video a thumbs up if you did and I'm now just going to do some close ups so that you can see what it looks like. I really love how it looks from the side and the back, I think it looks so elegant and pretty and I definitely think that I'd be wearing this. This could even be like a wedding hairstyle so it could be for prom or wedding or any kind of special occasion. Okay, see you soon guys, bye!